Adult male gangs have existed for a long time in New Zealand, but teenage girl gangs are a more recent trend. Tarns was a teenage gang girl. She has 13 convictions and has been to jail three times. Now, in her early 20s, she is trying to go straight. From a gang family, Tarns had a difficult upbringing. She didn't know her father and had a turbulent relationship with her mother. As a young teenager, she got into petty crime and formed her own girl gang in Marainui, Napier. Now he's a toast to the coast, how a flow got a stroll, people get up and holler to scream. I was just sick of looking at all the boys thinking they were all that and getting nothing, you know? We were all that, yet we ain't even got a cigarette. But we were all that, yet we're gonna go and ask the girls if they got a joint. We were all that, we're so much all that, that it's the girls that hook us up. And we get drunk, you know? Sick of it. So I thought, ah, oh, fuck it. Start up our own little gang. Straight up sisters. To tell you the truth, girls can accomplish more than boys can. I mean, all they want to do is drive around on pitiful cars and waste gas. You know, what's the use of that? Utilise that gas, go out there and start making money. You know, it's not going to come to you. You've got to get out there and go look for it and grab it, grasp it. All of us, you know, we just notice things and go, fuck, we saw one of those things down there, dog. It's like, yeah, dog, fuck, you going to do it, dog. And I'm like, yeah, dog, that's it. And just off, do it. Mission accomplished. And with all our skills put together, we were unbeatable. We were that unbeatable that there was so much thieving going on and so much um, shortage of cash going on in Marainui that um, we got told to stop stealing in Marainui, you know? Because of the heat that was coming into Marainui, you know, we're not allowed to bring heat in Marainui, which means you're not allowed to go on the outskirts of Marainui, rip off a house and then drive all the hot stuff into Marainui where the pigs are going to chase you. It's just like this adrenaline rush, eh? When you get into a car, pop, pop, work it, right? you get in it, you get it started, man, fuck, that's it, you're off. Yeah, and the pigs just chase me out, blitzed them. But the only problem was, because there were so many of them behind me and they were trying to ram me off the road and everything, you know, I sort of thought, fuck this, they're going to kill me, the cunt. So I fucking thought, well, if I drive up this way and if I nip that car, it's going to come bowling out, you know, and then the pig's going to drive into it. So that's exactly what I've done. Just nipped every car that was on the side of the road so that it'll fucking just, when the pigs would just smash into it. Tanza's girl gang members were all from in and around Marainui. All born and bred from Marainui, the whole lot of us. I didn't want any outsiders, any whatever. I just wanted all of us that were based in Marainui. We had me as Baby T, we had Baby T, Chaos, uh, SK, Dre, Easy. It was just a handful of us because it was easy to maintain, you know, easy to control as well. We had meetings and stuff like that. You know, got together and had a bit of a, you know, a yarn every week, maybe every Sunday. Tanza's gang was initially called Bitches with Power. Bitches with Power, because I thought we had power. And then I didn't like the fact that we were getting called bitches, so I changed it. We changed it to Sus and S-U-S, -S, and that was straight up sisters. I was just all about making money, basically. Some of my other girls were all about, you know, wanting to get laid and wanting to just go and get drunk. Well, it's not all about that, you know. We weren't going around pleading poverty, you know, like some other people, you know. We were just cracking it, cracking it, cracking it. You know, we'd always walk around and label gears, red and black at that, and fucking we always had the flash gears, we always had monies, the ones that smoked, smokes. Other than that, no, there was no dress codes or nothing like this. Tanta's gang may have been inspired by the male gangs, but they didn't copy everything about them. I sort of thought about that like initiation, but what initiation would be a, the appropriate initiation to use these days, you know? Getting the bash, oh, these, fuck, getting the bash ain't nothing these days, you know? It's nothing. Well, it, it doesn't really phase many people, eh? It's getting the bash with the fists is a uh, piece of piss, you know? It's like, oh, is that all? Eh?